All right, this is IMAX Nation 1980 here with a Disney Blu-ray update. I finally got the Diamond Edition of Bambi. And, of course, Bambi is a classic, one of my all-time favorite Disney films. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about the cover artwork, to tell you the truth. Uh, for some reason, I'm not really happy with the way Bambi is kind of sideways. And, of course... It's too bad that sticker there is blocking the great prince's head. Yep. And if you want to know what I think of the Blu-ray, well, this is going to be my first Blu-ray review. I'm going to start doing reviews of Blu-ray releases. I'll review both the movie and the content on the Blu-ray. And got the actual case there. You can see the prince, my favorite character in the film. And... Of course, the back is going to be the same as the front. And here's the uh, Blu-ray disc, of course. And, you know, your promo stuff. The upcoming Diamond Editions, Lion King and Lady and the Tramp. Pretty excited about that. And this uh, giveaway, I might even do this for this Bambi poster. <clears throat> this poster, I think, is from the one of the re-releases in the 1970s or the 1980s. I think it might be from the 1982 re-release. Re Let me see. And I'll, have to, I'll have to send for it. I might just get it. Would be nice to have. I mean, it is one of my favorite Disney films, so I just might send away for the poster. I have to enter the codes on Disney Movie Club. You got your DVD, I mean, in Blu-ray guide here. And of course, take this out and you've got the DVD itself. Um, it's a white disc with just the artwork of Bambi on it. It's, you know, it's it's better than nothing. I mean, most of the recent Disney DVDs have no artwork, but at least this has some. Like, at least it's not completely bland, but still. And the Blu-ray itself so far is all right. I mean, I know that, you know, they they could have left some stuff off the original Platinum Edition DVD, but I'm going to evaluate on that when I post my review of this. And I also got Alice in Wonderland. Bambi was the feature title on the Disney Movie Club, and you can get it with Alice in Wonderland. And, of course, this is the 60th anniversary edition of the film. This is a classic. And I'll probably do a review of this one, too, since it's a recent Blu-ray. That's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do recent, like, reviews of recent Blu-ray discs. Because it wouldn't make sense to review a Blu-ray disc that came out, like, a year ago or so. And I was watching some of this, and it looked great, along with Bambi. The transfer is stunning. And we got the actual case itself. Yep. And here's the Blu-ray disc itself. And, you know, the movie rewards. Not as much promo stuff in here as Bambi. And, of course, 3D. I don't know if I'm ready to convert to Blu-ray 3D yet. I'm going to wait and see. If 3D TV doesn't take off, then I'm not. I'm not converting. Because you never know, it might not even do very well. And the DVD, which is pretty bland. No artwork at all. Which has been a trend with Disney lately. Oh well. What are you going to do? So, that was my... Disney Blu-ray update. There'll be another one because I eventually plan on getting Tron, Tron Legacy, and The Incredibles when those two come out. When those three films come out in April. So, Alice in Wonderland, 60th Anniversary Edition, and the Bambi, the Diamond, Edi uh, Diamond Edition. Alright, so that was the Blu-ray update. This is IMAX Nation 1980, signing off.